Okay, that's both the uh, calipers on now, so I'll show you. They're quite. This is why we need heli coil drums. Let me see. Yeah, there we go. So you can see I've got a gap, but it's not very good. So we, we would need to heli coil this so we can get rid of that nut. But it will do for just now. Um, for two hours in a track, it'll do for just now, and then. Uh, Take your hubs off and get them done properly. But yeah. Hi guys, so we're gonna do the Willwood uh, super light uh, wheel uh, brakes. Um, as you can see, that's a bracket and it will go on something like that if you can see it yeah um the measurements for this see there's not much online so the measurement for this is from where your caliper carrier bolts onto your hub you're about 140 from center of the hole to center of the hole if you can see that and um, from the actual caliper the two ones here if you measure that, you're sitting around 90. So uh, that's a rough thing. You know, you could use your AP uh, AP brakes off a, I think it's a MGTF. You might be able to use them. There's the Peugeot 308 uh, four potch. You might be able to use them. But um, yeah, the distance in there, I don't think you'll get away with anything uh, further than, you know, 90. You might get away with 100, but, you know somewhere around 90. So we'll fit this up and hopefully it all fits together. So I'll just do a time lapse I guess of uh, me putting it together. Just show you this first. I'm just taking the, the bolts out of this so you can see it. There you go. There's two washers here. So that's all it is. That bolts onto there. Pretty simple. So you might be able to get these calipers still from Willwood, I'm not too sure, but you can see there how the the bracket is made. So your your um your bolts for the, the actual caliper on here. You can just them bolts just slide all the way through. Um, only use high tensile steel bolts as well. We don't want no normal stainless stuff or anything. Don't want that to break. But yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so here we go with this heli coil. Um, I don't think the uh, instructions are very good because, um, yeah, as you can see, carefully, bit the four, installing. Fucking idiots. So. You get a quick description of how to do it, blah, blah, blah. So men don't really read instructions that much, so it doesn't mean anything. So I'm gonna drill this with this, then I'm gonna tap it with this, then I'm gonna use this with this tool that goes onto the end of here, and then screw it in. And then once that's in, you can see that tab and then there's a little notch there. So you, once that's all the way in and you take that and you hammer that, then this will fall off and then you've got a nice thread all the way. So in theory, that's how it should go, but we will see. Um, I was thinking about doing it from the backside, so I've got this thread to start off with, but I think if you knock that off, then it should be a good thread both ways. So. Yeah, we'll see how it goes, and it's nearly the thickness of that, so, yeah. Oh my god. Bloody hell. Okay. That is us through. Now, how the fuck did it not even give you a tap thing to go on the end of it? 
No, they don't. Anyway, I've got a top side. For a reason, this will make it go a bit better. Oh my god. This is not as easy as I thought. Okay, that's the thread made. And I'm ready for the, the insert to go in. Um, a really good tip that my granda told me when I was younger, when I was making threads, is um, when you're going in with this, you go half a turn and then back quarter, half a turn, back quarter. It's just the back quarter just uh, gives you a cleaner thread and also use plenty of copper grease or whatever grease you've got. Um, so yeah, we'll get this coil coil in now and then that should be it ready to go. So before I put this uh, coil in, I'm just gonna clean up the thread and get all the residue off it. Okay, so I'm gonna use some Loctite as well, just so there's no chance of it coming out. There, I don't want to go any further than that. So supposedly, you just hit this and the back breaks off. There you go. And then I might just uh, sand that off and get rid of that one. But yeah, let's get the other one. Okay, so that bottom one actually went in better than the other one. I could actually... Um, no, I couldn't have pushed it in anymore, but hey-ho. Right, we'll smash the end off of this one. I think that's it. Yeah, see it's just that little bit that comes off the back and that makes it a full thread. Cool! So... That can now go on like that, and then that's it. getting ready for D-Side Speed Festival but I wanted to share this that I bought or I've been told about it. Um, it's meant to go over your filter pod because um, my one's right at the front of the bumper so I thought oh the rain and stuff and then one of my mates were telling me about this so it just goes over the top and then it's meant to stop water getting through your filter so I'm just going to try it. I've uh, got just normal water in here it was glass cleaner but it's water now so I was just gonna spray it and uh, see if my hand gets wet and then uh, tell you guys how it works so here we go so I could actually feel water come through though so that is a fail It actually holds on to the water more than it fucking... What a useless fucking thing. That just does not work at all. Even if you just lightly spray it. I can still feel it come through. And my hand's wet. That is a big, big fail. Oh well. 